$12 from the reject shop and you could have hours of family fun. Hi guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. So I thought today we'd start off with a little bit of an outfit of the day. So I'm wearing what I think I may wear on Christmas Day depending on what the weather is like. So up top I have this shirt. It's kind of an old white shirt. I felt like it looked a little bit cowboyish when I bought it. I don't know, it looks western because of the details. Anyway, it's just a white sleeveless shirt that I got from Forever New a while back. And then my shorts actually, funnily enough, are this maroon red colour with some gold button details down the side and they're high waisted. And these are also from Forever New. And then my shoes down here, if you guys can see them, look at them. These are some gold glittery sparkly loafers, which I absolutely love. And I feel like they're very festive. And these were only $7 from Kmart. $7. It was an absolute bargain. They're on sale, but still. And then I have my sand hat on, which obviously I didn't wear out to the shops. I have my hair slightly curled, more like messy waves. I have my necklace on here, which is from, let's get in a little bit closer so you can see it. This is from Sports Girl. It's kind of a turquoise color, which is why I thought like the slightly kind of greeny color and the slightly kind of reddy color is kind of Christmassy. And then on my face, I am wearing, if you guys can see, I've actually got the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation, which is doing not too bad considering I have oily skin and it's hot today. And usually that foundation wouldn't hold up very long on my skin. But I do have um, the Australis pressed face powder thing over the top of it. On my lips, I have my favorite red CoverGirl lipstick, and that is 305 Hot Passion, the Lip Perfection lipstick. Are the best, and I highly recommend them. On my eyes, I have my MAC Soft and Gentle on my eyelid, as also as a highlight. And then in in the crease I have MAC Hypnotizer which is like this purpley color and it's blended out with my bronzer which was just the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Milk Chocolate. So that is what I am wearing today. Oops, I almost forgot to mention I have my gold guest watch on. This is my first ever real watch that I got many many years ago and then I have this bracelet on which I have absolutely no idea where it is. I think it's actually my sister's. Shh, don't tell her. Um, I think it may be actually from a quip but I really really like it. It's just kind of I don't know, easy and it looks like I've got a whole heap of bracelets on when I don't really have any at all. So the point of this video is actually to do some Christmas baking, some super simple Christmas baking. But before we do, I actually went out shopping today to get some Christmas presents. And I wanted to show you the coolest thing that I found. Seriously, this is the best pres Christmas present you can buy for anybody who's young, a younger sibling, a younger cousin, if you've got kids of your own, or if you just have a big kid like me that you need to buy for. The coolest thing ever. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Look. It's a bubble machine. <gasps> Look at all the bubbles. Hopefully you guys can see them. I don't know if you can. Can you see the bubbles? Look, <gasps> so many freaking bubbles. Nope, maybe we should just have it blowing this way since it's like, it's kind of windy. This is a bad day for the bubble machine, but look at this. <gasps> look at them all. Pop, pop, pop. Seriously, is that not the best gift ever? Like. I, it's hours of fun for the entire family. It has a whole like little stand thing. You can lift it up. Ooh, look you guys have got bubbles in your face. <laughs> it's like the bubble freaking machine. <laughs> oh, in the eye. Be careful, don't hold it too close to your face. But the best bit about this is that it's only $12. $12 from the reject shop and you could have hours of family fun with this bubble machine. So this is the little box that it came in. $12. As you can see, right there, go reject shop and it actually comes with some bubble making stuff. But if you guys are crafty, you know that all you need for bubbles is a little bit of dishwashing liquid and some water and you can have bubbles for hours and Now hours. I did think I would warn you, so if any of you guys rush out to go get this for Christmas day, that you do need six AA batteries and it doesn't come with any. So luckily I bought some whole heap of AA batteries today, but the last thing you want to do is have a cool Christmas present or something to play with on Christmas day, and then you have no bubbles, or no bubbles, you have no batteries, so that means no bubbles. So make sure you have um, batteries and then also a little like precision screwdriver kit, something like this, because you have to unscrew things to get on. But with all that, you guys can have awesome bubbles. Since we're on the topic of my shopping trip today, I thought I would quickly point these out. I succumbed and picked up the Chi Chi Glamorous palette, the Glamorous Nudes palette, which has been touted on YouTube and on blogs as a dupe for the Naked palette, the Naked One palette from Urban Decay. And then I also have the Glamorous Bronze palette. 
and then the Glamorous Brights palette. These are still in Target currently with 25% off. So they're usually $19.95 and they're down to $14.95, which is a bargain for a palette with 12 shadows in it, especially if it is a dupe, at least in terms of colors, for the Naked palette, which for us here in Australia retails for around, if we can get it, like when you ship it up from, say, beautybay.com, is $50 or $55. So worth checking out and I can't wait to to play around with those so that's just for my beauty girls but I thought I thought I had to share because it's a bargain for $14.95 and I don't know how long that's gonna last but I bought them today which is Tuesday and it is still 25% off okay so now that we've got our little shopping interlude over onto the peppermint bark okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do for our peppermint bark is we're gonna preheat our oven to about 120 degrees next we're gonna need some ingredients so the first thing that you need is some chocolate melts I've got white chocolate real white chocolate extra smooth and creamy melts from Cadbury if you want to do this the longer way you can actually get white chocolate and milk chocolate um, melts or you could even use dark chocolate if you wanted to. I'm going to do the quick way and just have one type of chocolate but if you have two types of chocolate what you do is you simply melt one type of chocolate in the oven, set it and then melt the second type of chocolate on the stove over a bowl of water. Then you pour that chocolate on top and then set it that way but I'm going to do just one type of chocolate and I'm using the good old white chocolate. You're also going to probably need some baking paper. And then the most important thing is peppermint bark. You're going to need either some peppermint candy, so peppermint swirls, peppermint candy canes, or you can even get some places you can actually buy like shredded like or broken up peppermint lolly like this. I couldn't find it anywhere in Australia, but I know that you can get it in the States because I've seen other people use it before. So if you can get already broken up peppermint lollies or peppermint, uh, what's this called? Candy canes. You can get anything that's already broken up, then that's like a step less that you have to do. And then what you are going to need is something to break up the candy canes or the lollies with. So something like a grater, you can, I've been testing out using a grater, or something like a rolling pin so you can roll them together. And if you do that, then you probably will need some plastic baggies or something to hold all the stuff together. Oh, and of course you're going to need a baking tray. I quickly want to point out that yes, I am working over my sink. We have the world's tiniest kitchen at the moment, which is very unfortunate, and we have no bench space. So I have like a board over the top of my sink, and I apologize for that. But this is really, really simple. So all you want to do is take your baking tray of any sort, take some baking paper, and just cover it on like so. And then you want to take your chocolate melt, chocolatey goodness. And then you just want to spread some of these out. Mine are already partially melted because it is actually really hot at the moment. You want to take some and just spread them out in the center of your little baking tray. So this will only take a couple of minutes in the oven. So I'm going to put this to this side until we have our peppermint candies all crushed up. Next we need to crush up our peppermint candies. So don't forget to take your candy canes or your peppermint candies, whatever you're using. Make sure you peel the plastic off first before you start doing anything. These things weren't made for kids, or they were and they're adult proof. It's really hard to get the plastic off. Just get the plastic off any way that you can. Okay, so once you have all your candy free of its plastic confines, you have a couple of options. Now, if you can think of a better way to do this, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear it. But the couple of ways that I've heard about is one is to take your grater. Now, don't use your mum's best, fanciest, newest grater because we're just going to stab at it. And also, if you're young, be super, super careful and don't hurt yourself. Basically, you just hold the grater and your candy cane and just like chip the issue with this is that a lot of it flies around, so you need a big working space to get everything. You may have little pieces flying around everywhere, which can make the whole process a whole lot mess. But you do end up with some nice little candy cane or peppermint bits. So another option is to take a little plastic sandwich baggie and put some of your either lollies or candy canes or whatever you're using in the bag, seal it off, and then you just take a rolling pin or something hard and just hit it. Make sure you use a chopping board or something like that to try and protect your bench as much as you can.
last step there, I found that the candy canes worked a lot easier than the little round peppermint lollies that I used last year. So I'd recommend getting candy canes if you can't get the little shard pieces because it was a lot, lot easier to make. Okay, so once all your candy canes are smashed to smithereens, we then want to put our chocolate melts in the oven. Now you want to watch your chocolate and monitor it very very closely because as soon as they're melted just enough that they're slightly liquidy and that we'd be able to move them, you want to take them back out. Okay, so that looks pretty much done. You want to turn your oven off and then use your handy dandy oven mitts and pull out the chocolate. all nice and melty so then be super careful and just spread out your chocolate to make now depending on how big you want your peppermint bark to be you can make this in a square you can make it in a circle like me you can just have it all kind of mishmashed I don't put mine in like a container so it's super neat I just want it to be just generally together because then I'm gonna break it all up later you then want to add your peppermint so you just want to take this and just crumble it over the top. Try and use the smaller bits, not too many big chunks. We'll have a mixture of both. Once you have as much peppermint as you would like, then just push the peppermint bits into the chocolate a little bit just so they stay. You can actually even mix it in a little bit if you would like. And that, my friends, is basically done. Now all you have to do is just put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Pop it in the fridge. Okay, so once you've given that about 20 minutes to half an hour at least to set in the fridge, pull it out, and ta-da! You have peppermint bark. So then all you have to do is you can really just break it up into chunks if you want. Like I just do it really organically because I think it looks better that way. So just break it on up. Yep. And you are left with that. Then you could just put it on a pretty Christmas plate and wrap it up and give it to a friend or you can do what I'm gonna do and just eat it with some hot chocolate. My favorite thing to have with the peppermint bark is some peppermint hot chocolate. So I'm just gonna take some of the Cadbury's drinking chocolate. You just need a couple of heaped teaspoons in your favorite Christmas mug. take a little bit of milk. I think this is the best way to make hot chocolate. Just a touch and swirl that around a little bit. Then add your boiling water and give it a good mix. And then for the final peppermint -y touch you want to use another candy cane as your swizzle stick. So while the chocolate's still hot, swirl the peppermint candy cane around and it will add peppermint flavor to your hot chocolate. See, you just put your little peppermint candy cane on the side there. Ta-da, isn't that so cool? <sighs> Yum. Now you have your hot chocolate and your peppermint bark and you're good to go. That's really good. Okay, so now that we have our peppermint bark and our peppermint hot chocolate, why not add a little bit of more chocolate to this video by doing our advent vlogmas calendar. So today is day 19. You guys can guess one of the five chocolates. I am going to guess, what haven't we had for a while? Dairy milk, maybe? I'm going to guess dairy milk. You guys guess either crunchy strawberry dairy milk dream or milky top. And let's see. No, maybe not. Dairy milk, that's like 7 to 12. I'm catching up. Not really, but close. It's, it's better than it was before. Yes! Cool, so if you guys guessed dairy milk, congratulations, you won today's prize. Which isn't a chocolate because I'm gonna eat my chocolate. Sorry. 
I don't share chocolate. Okay, so that's it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog for today. If you try making either peppermint bark or the peppermint hot chocolate, definitely let me know in the comments below or send me a photo on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see your creations. And other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 20. I can't believe we're at the 20s. Christmas is so close. Okay, see you then. Bye. As if I haven't already eaten enough chocolate today. Oh, I almost forgot birthdays for today. Thank you to Stevens Diana, one of my subscribers who's super nice, who reminded me yesterday that it was Brad Pitt's birthday, Christina Aguilera. Who else? Let me think. Um, oh, Katie Holmes and Steven... Ooh, what's my hat? And Steven Spielberg. And today, on the 19th of December, very happy birthday to Jake Gyllenhaal and Alyssa Milano. So hopefully I won't forget birthdays tomorrow. Whose birthday is born on the 20th of December? You will just have to wait till tomorrow to see. Seriously. <laughs> so much fun. Pop, pop, pop. New, new. So good. Really good. I'm quite impressed with myself. <laughs>